confronted two people who weren't invited to his wedding reception and paid for that with his life. KKL 9's Leslie Maring is live in Chino where she talked to the grieving bride. Leslie? Well, now, Brave is the best way I can describe Esther Melgoza. She went from wife to widow the exact same day. Now, we did sat, sit down with her today. She tells us neither she, her family, nor Joe Melgoza, her husband, had ever seen these suspects until her wedding day. I was happy, even though he didn't know how to dance. <laughs> He's so nervous to dance, but he did it. There are so many moments at Joe and Esther Melgoza's wedding that she will remember, but how happy her husband was, that is her favorite memory. And you can see it in his face, how happy he was. Just the way he looked at me all day. Tragically, as the wedding was wrapping up around 2 a.m. Sunday morning, police say two uninvited guests identified as brothers Roni and Josue Castaneda Ramirez arrived at the reception in Chino. Witnesses say when they were asked to leave, the two men began to fight with several family members, including the groom, who chased after the suspects. Investigators say Joe was eventually found a short distance away, beaten and suffering from a head injury. And I still can't believe it. Why would anybody do that? Being a little brother was the biggest honor I've had in my life, bro. <laughs> I just can't believe you're gone, man. Melgoza's family says at just 30 years old, Joe was a loving father to his 11 year old daughter, Lily, and also helped raise his younger siblings. Always there for me, no matter what. Anytime I needed something, he loved me so much, man. But as Melgoza's family is trying to understand why such a magical night ended so tragically, Esther, the bride, is thanking her husband for the time they did get to spend together. He taught me to be brave. Thanks to him, I became a wife. Thanks to him, I became a mother. Now, as for those two suspects, we know both pleaded not guilty today in court. Joe's family has set up a GoFundMe. They say the expenses will go towards funding his daughter as well as funeral expenses. Reporting live, Leslie Manning, KCAL 9 News. Only tragic.